beauties. How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. Today I'm doing a video and collabing with a couple of ladies here on YouTube. And it is uh, Cinnamon Girl Beauty and also Marlene Fab and Glam at over 50. We're doing our top five favorite purple products. And so if you guys would like to see what my top five favorite are, keep on watching. Okay, so if you did come from one of the other ladies' channels, welcome. Thank you so much. I hope you stick around and subscribe and join me each week. And also, the two lovely ladies I have is Cinnamon Girl Beauty and also Marlene Fab and Glam Over 50. And let me just say, I enjoy both of them. They both have such wonderful personalities. They have a lot to bring to the table when sharing the beauty products. And I, I love, like Michelle, I really enjoy Cinnamon Girl Beauty. Her name is Michelle. And what I enjoy from her a lot of times is she brings the unique products and brands, like things that I've never heard of. She'll, you know, bring these products on and try them out with us and share them and everything. So I like that. She has little, uh, finds these little shops that, you know, maybe it's like a little mom, mom and pa shop is as um, we call it here where I live at, you know, like just a smaller uh, place, but you know, they have these unique products and they can end up being some really good products. And Marlene Fab and Glam over 50, I have really enjoyed her. I got, actually got to know her first out of the two and they're actually BFFs. They're really close, very good friends and everything. And I just thought it would be nice to add them to here with me. And Marlene, I, I love it. She does step outside the box even more. Like, you know, she has all gorgeous purple hair, which that's kind of what made me want to do this video with our top five favorite purples because I know both of them love purple and that is my favorite color. Marlene, I really enjoy her. She uh, does really great uh, looks and helps those ladies with the hooded eyes. So, so if you are somebody that has hooded eyes and you need that little extra help or maybe learn some techniques, Marlene would be the uh, woman for you because she has done that quite a few times now, sharing what she does with her eyes because she has hooded eyes and she shares her techniques. So please go check those two out. I will have links to their videos. So I'm kind of excited to see what their top five favorite purple products are. It doesn't have to be a beauty product. It can be anything because they uh, had asked me that one too. And I thought, you know, yeah, I mean, I love a lot of beauty products and there is quite a few purple products in the beauty, you know, like the makeup and everything, but it didn't have to be everything in the beauty. You know, these are just our top five favorite things that is of a purple color. So let's go ahead and get started into mine. I do have a comb, this kind of comb here. I'm not sure. Hopefully it's going to show that it's purple. It's like a lilac-y purple lilac-y listen to me, lilac purple color. And it's one of them thick uh, comb combs that you can get. I get mine at Sally's Beauty Supply. And honestly, this is a favorite of mine. And why it's my favorite uh, comb is I will take it in the shower with me. And after washing through with my shampoos or conditioners, deep conditioners, whatever, I will comb through and it helps that extra step to get some knots out if you know if I have any and it's a staple. I use it all the time whenever I'm washing my hair or conditioning my hair or it is a lilac. I'm, like I said I'm hoping it, it shows but you can get them at Sally's Beauty Supply or Walmart of course or anything. This brand here it looks like it says uh, oh it says Paris on here. Um, so I know I'm going to butcher it because I think it's a, a French name. I'm not sure if you're there. Can you see the name there? Right there. So I got mine at Sally of Beauty and I love it. So it was very hard for me to pick some makeup products in the purple family. And, but I do have some purple on my eyes right now and on my lips and everything. So on my eyes, this has to be one of my favorite eyeshadows in the the purple family. Now I do have another one and it's from the Kat Von D matte and metal palette. It's that one that has like a pinky lilac shade if you've seen that. But I didn't want to bring it out because that is another one that's my favorite. 
that you can't get that palette now. And I thought, I'm trying to stick with things that you pretty much probably still can get. And that's kind of what I wanted to stick with. So this is another one that I've, I, I really fell in love with. It's one of the L'Oreal Infallible uh, eyeshadows. Now these are my favorite eyeshadows that are in these pots. I could say ColourPop's right in there because I do really like a lot of color plop, plop, yeah, color plop, <laughs> color pop eyeshadows. I really like a lot of theirs, so mm, I guess I should say it would be a tie between the L'Oreal and color pop. This one is, I guess my camera's not going to pick it up. I was trying to put it in, but it's called Burst Into Bloom from one of the L'Oreal Infallibles, and yes, you can still get it. First, it was like, I thought it was in the limited edition part, but then I did see that they kept it and everything. So here it is in the pot itself. And it's really, really pretty. Really pretty color. That is what I have on my eyelids. I worked it in with uh, Makeup Geek Cupcake. And I kind of worked with it. So I only have I only have this on. And then Cupcake with Makeup Geek is kind of what I spread around on my eyes today. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful color. Right there it is. Oh, not like real dark of a purple. You can't see, and don't worry, the glitter part that you see isn't as bad as what, you know, you would think it doesn't fall off on my face or anything. That's the one thing I like about some of the L'Oreal Infallibles, that they will have some of them sparklies in there, but it doesn't fall onto my face. I haven't had that happen to me anyway, but I do take my finger and kind of dab along first. And then I took one of my eyeshadow brushes and patted it on my eyelid and everything. So that's it right there. Such a beautiful, beautiful, like orchid shade. Okay. I know some kind of got some orchid shades here. <laughs> okay. So one of my other things that I love is when it comes to two things that I, if somebody asked me what my hobby loves are or something like that, one is obviously makeup, beauty, anything in the beauty field. The other is music. I love music. Between the two of them, those are the things I do when I'm passing time by or just, you know, and yeah, I love music. So my MP3 player that I have here is and it's from a Sony. It is in a real pretty purple casing and everything. I do have a headset. Well, no, my headset now has a bluish purple to it. I did have a purple set and it kind of broke after a while because I've had it for quite some time now. And yeah, this is the one that I listen to a lot and I play a lot and everything. I would get another one like this if I could. I don't know what they're like now if they still have these ones. So I already knew when I seen that they had colored ones, they had pink and purple and blue and black and silver, and I knew purple was going to be the one. So my purple MP3 player is one of my favorite in my, it had to be in my top five favorite products. The next item is uh, from Sephora and it is their lip creams. And let me just say their lip creams are probably my first experience with some of the liquid lipsticks and I was a little bit worried because they do dry to a matte that is this is the shade I have on right now this one's in African violet that is the shade I have on right now and these are $14 a piece so it's not too bad of a price and I do have two other I think I have two other ones I know I have the mauve I think the mauve shade and one other one but I probably will get more that is what I have on my lips and like I said it does dry down to a matte finish but I don't I don't mind this one um I do make sure that I you know well condition my lips like put a uh, lip balm on and you know like use my sugar scrub stuff or whatever you know and get rid of any dry skin or anything on my lips if I did want to add a little something to it I could take a lip gloss like one of my lip glosses that I have and uh, put it over top or something you know and just add that little extra shine if I wanted to so yeah African Violet it is a beautiful beautiful shade love this one these actually 
It smells so good. I don't know what that smell is, but boy, does it smell good. These are beautiful. I would highly recommend get trying. If you haven't tried the Sephora lip creams, I highly recommend trying them out because I really love that color. And then one of my last items that I have here, and it is a purple outside casing and everything. And I do love this. This has been a repurchase many times is the Aussie three minute miracle uh, moist plus hydration hair mask. This is a hair mask that I use and it's from the Aussie line, which you know, the Aussie line, they have their bottles, bottles pretty much are all in a purple color. I do know they have um, different ones for the three minute uh, miracle mass or something like that. I, but I do like to get this one because it is one for more hydrating the hair. Like, you know, somebody that maybe colors their hair a lot or, you know, puts a lot of products in their hair, um, you know, it can do a little, it can get rid of the moisture in your hair. So this helps balance it back out and put some moisture in there. And I do really like it. Sometimes I'll just do a deep conditioning in between my washes like if I wash my hair and two days go by instead of washing my hair that day I'll sometimes do a nice deep condition and it will kind of revive my hair a little bit and then I'll wait another couple days and then wash I mean some people can't get away with that some people wouldn't want to do that I you know to each their own but sometimes that is what I'll do I'll do a deep conditioner and not even shampoo my hair and sometimes that works to revive my hair a little bit so yes really 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 uh, love this product and would be a repurchase yes and also speaking of my hair because I did promise I would go ahead and get a video up uh, about the hair products and everything and I was hoping I'd get it up this week and this week didn't work out that way because I had um, several other things that I wanted to get up real quick with different videos and I don't want to overload you guys with too many videos because I have had quite a few this week. This week was a busy week and I kind of slammed you with quite a few videos here so I didn't want to over you know over slam you with um, videos so I do promise I will have it up next week and let you guys know about the hair product that or the hair products the shampoo and conditioner that uh I was using and let you guys know more about it because I was seeing a good thing with my hair. All right, beauties. So thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. And I also want to thank Marlene and Michelle for joining me. I thought this would be something fun and interesting to do and share our purple, you know, favorite products and everything. So can't wait to see what those two have to share. Don't forget to go and check out their videos. Like I said, I'll have the links down below. And if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me out so much and I very much appreciate it. Also, if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can come and join me each week. You can go ahead and click the subscribe button down below as well as the bell that's right next to the subscribe button. If you do click on that, that will help you be notified of when my new videos will be uploaded and you'll get an email notification or something like that. So make sure you hit that if you want to come and join me each week and stick around and see what's going on and uh, you know who I'm collabing with and maybe what my likes and not likes are that I do every Wednesday. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. So until the next time, you guys take care, and I will see you then. Love you. Bye.